baby, come on in here. I tried to wait for you, baby, but I had to get started. Now, listen here. In this bowl, I have four sticks, okay? That's two cups of butter. And I let that cream for eight minutes. Now, I to that, I added three cups. That's 600 grams of granulated sugar. And I let that mix for eight minutes. Because see, with the pound cake, you're pumping in that air, okay? So I went ahead and did that. Now, this is a lemon pound cake, baby. So we got to go ahead and add the lemon flavor. Now, this lemon pound cake going to have lemon all types of ways, baby. Mm hmm. So we're going to go ahead and get started with, let me go ahead and take this little top off. This is a brand new bottle. Um, this is lemon extract. And we're going to go ahead and put in here one tablespoon. Mm hmm. One tablespoon of lemon extract. But baby, that ain't the only lemon that we added. Mm -mm. So let me go ahead and lift this up here. And I'm going to add that. That's one tablespoon of lemon extract. So I'm going to go ahead and let that mix on up. Mm -hmm. Now, the next lemon that I'm adding is some lemon zest. So I'm going to go ahead and zest down my lemon. Now, of course, you got to make sure your lemon clean now, baby. Don't just grab the lemon and try to be zesting. You want to go ahead and zest your clean lemon. Just take off that top layer of the lemon and oh it's gonna be adding some good old lemon flavor to this lemon pound cake because baby we're making a lemon pound cake come on now okay now usually i need to take two small lemons to get a full good tablespoon but these lemons baby is kind of big so i only just needed to use one today all right so now we're gonna move on to squeezing the lemon juice oh yes yeah. so i'm gonna go ahead and roll it and loosen up loosen up the lemon um pardon me pardon me i'm sorry where's my manners mama raised me better than this if you are new here welcome i am diet and this is turtles tasty treats where we make bacon from scratch easy now if you enjoyed anything that you've seen thus far go down there and click that subscribe button baby and stay tuned to all of the tips and tricks that i have to share for you in bacon and then all of the good yummy tasty recipes that i have to share mm -hmm. so now i'm gonna go ahead and cut my lemon in half and i bought out my small juicer and I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze the lemon on down. Squeeze it on down. Now I'm going to be using five tablespoons of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is a lemon pound cake, baby. What do you expect now? We're going to have some lemon flavor coming through. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much we got here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. Oh, I'm a tablespoon short now. <laughs> so grab another lemon, go ahead and roll and roll. And then I'm just going to repeat that process and add me another tablespoon in there. Mm -hmm. This five tablespoons of lemon juice, I'm going to go ahead and pour it into one cup of milk. Mm -hmm, just like that. Now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my yellow food coloring. You don't have to do this. This is optional. I'm going to add three drops. One, two. Looks like that was three. Just one more for safe counting. Um, three drops of yellow food coloring. This is not a must. This is just for looks. Looks only, baby. Looks only. All right. So the lemon zest has been zest into the bowl but i didn't mix it up so i'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and we're gonna prepare the eggs now oh let me let me scrape on down first because i see some zest hanging out at the top and we want it to fully incorporate with everything always remember to scrape down your bowl baby you want to get to the bottom you want to get the sides because you want to make sure that all of your ingredients is thoroughly incorporated together. And although you have a mixing, you think it's mixing, mixing, it don't always get down to the bottom and it does push the ingredients onto the side. So you always have yourself a good old spatula and scrape that stuff on down there. 
because you want all that goodness to definitely go through your batter evenly. Mm -hmm. All right, so going on to the eggs. We got six eggs that's, that are room temperature. Okay, so I always, always, always crack my eggs into a separate bowl. That way, no shells, no bad eggs or nothing has to mess up my batter. Now, I'm going to mix in my eggs one at a time, letting that egg thoroughly incorporate into the batter. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know why I still get that there, but that's all right. So moving on to the dry ingredients now. So in my bowl, I have three cups. That's 375 grams of all-purpose unbleached flour. So I have that in my bowl, in my sifter, because we're going to sift, baby. Now, to this, I'm adding one teaspoon, okay, one teaspoon of baking powder, just like that. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt, okay? One teaspoon of salt. All right. Now, let's take it off the this, this scale. I didn't really need that. And we're going to go ahead and sift it up. Sifting is important, baby. You want to get all them lumps, bumps, and all of that stuff out of your batter so that you can, it makes it easier for it to mix up. And then, as I said, you don't want no clunks, clunks of, of, of salt and clunks of, of flour in your batter. Mm -mm. So sift it on up to get a nice consistency so you can have a nice, even, good, yummy crumb, baby. Mm -hmm. This is the secret right here, sifting. I know it's an extra step, but go on and do it, baby. You'll thank me later. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do here next is we're going to alternate our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients. And I'm just going to give this a little mixy mix. Just a little mixy mix. All right. Got that little yellow color. And I'm going to scrape down my bowl. And baby, we just about done. We about to pop this in the oven. Let me bring over this bowl right here so I can put my spatula on it. All right. So we're going to alternate dry, wet, dry, wet, a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Now, for this last dry, I'm only going to mix it to its combined, and then I'm going to fold the rest because here is where we walk that very thin line of don't overmix. Overmixing your batter creates a tough crumb, okay? We don't want no tough cake, baby. So you want to just, at this point, mix until you see like all the flour disappear. I'm going to stop it, and then I'm going to do the rest by hand, baby. The rest by hand. Mm hmm. That's it. That was it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, scraping down my um paddle, and we good to go, baby. Let's bring it on over here. Move that out the way. Mm hmm. Now, like I said, this is a tip for kind of all of your baked goods, whether it's pound cake or cookies and all, all of the um, nice, amazing treats, don't over mix it. Don't over mix it, especially when you're using a stand mixer. It's easy to let that thing go on and mix, 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 but you don't want that to happen. Those, those gluten strands, unless you're making bread, baby, <laughs> then let it go ahead on. But um, you, you don't want the gluten strands to start forming and you, you got a tough cake on your hand. You, you don't, we're not making cornbread, baby. We're making pound cake, lemon pound cake, that is. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead, stand that up just like that. 
And like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it in, going all the way to the bottom. Getting the sides. And just folding. You don't need to do a lot. Comes together fairly well. Got us a nice pretty color. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself. All right, we good to go. Wash my hands and prepare my pan. Now I'm gonna use my famous bunk pan here, 18 cups, and I'm gonna butter it up nice and good. Mm -hmm. All right, we have come to the part of the recipe where I have to take a deep breath because it's a lot of batter. Pound cakes is not a small batter. And this glass bowl is heavy. So this is pound cake exercise. Ready? One and two. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we're gonna pour it in there. Ooh, cha. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, it's sad. I should be strong enough. I really need to be able to switch arms because this arm is gonna have some muscles. This arm is gonna be a little wimpy wimp. <laughs> Woo. And let me tell you something. The lemon smell is coming through. Oh my goodness. It is coming through here. You know it's good when you smelling the flavors before it's even baked. Mm, mm, mm. Check it out. I get all my, my pound cake batter out of the pan. I out of that bowl, rather. Um, it'd be it be it be a lot, it'd be heavy, but mm -mm, we ain't letting none of this pound cake go to waste. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it on out and get ready to put this in the oven. Now my oven is already preset. Let me give it a little tap tap. Okay. My oven is preset to 325 degrees. And like most of all my pound cakes, I go ahead and let this bake. We're going to let it bake um, for 90 minutes. That's an hour and 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. To the oven we go, baby. All right. Lemon pound cake is out the oven now, baby. So what we're going to do here now is I'm going to add simple syrup to it, baby. Lemon simple syrup. Now, let me tell you how I made it. One cup water, one cup sugar. I put it in a pan and let it boil, boil, boil. Then I added one tablespoon of lemon extract. Mm-hmm. Let it boil down, simmer it on down, and I got myself some simple syrup. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before it even cool, baby, I'm just going to go ahead and let it drizzle on top. Put that lemon juice right, the lemon um, simple syrup, <laughs> and put it all on top there, baby. Mm -hmm. This is gonna make that lemon flavor just, mm, mm. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let this cool on down. Cool it down, you gotta slow it down. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> um, once I let it cool down, I'm gonna cool down for like about 15 minutes. I'm gonna flip it out of this pan and then I'm gonna put some simple syrup on the back side of it. Mm -hmm. And then flip it right side up and go ahead and let it just completely cool down. So the lemon pound cake baby has cooled on down, but we ain't stopping in with the lemon flavor. We're gonna add a lemon glaze to it. Now, in my bowl, I have two cups of powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Now to that, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Gonna pour that in there and I'm gonna go ahead and like mix it up there. And I'm just doing it by hand cause this comes together real quick, real quick now. So then I'm gonna go ahead and add, get my stuff here. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Pour that on in there. That's one, 
that's two and that's three mm -hmm. just like that and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and mix this on up and then I'm getting ready to pour it on my cake baby mm -hmm. now I got the consistency that I want there and now we're ready to go ahead and pour it on this pound cake baby so I'm just gonna move that over and I'm gonna get ready and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour straight onto the cake oh yes Mmm. <laughs> Whoops. All right. And see there, that's just enough. I'm just going to go ahead and smooth it on down. Go on and smooth it down. Give me a little drip there. <laughs> yes. Lemon mm -hmm. pound cake with lemon glaze icing. Oh, yeah. May, may I? Yes, you may. You need some? So I'm gonna zoom. Y'all hit it. That is it. You hit it. Yes. All right. Ooh. Mm. I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, y'all see that? You see that name right there? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I scrolling around. Let y'all see that there in the middle. Inside there. He ain't away from me. Oh! Oh, sniggity that. Mm. That is the bomb diggity. Mm. A little stickity. Get giggity. Oh, yeah, that's nice there. You taste the lemon. Lemony. Mm hmm It's good. It's good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I rock for this one here. Mm. Okay. All right, I got to tell him some stuff. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Ah, he done ate the piece. <laughs> if you enjoyed what you've seen, Make sure you go down there and click that subscribe button. And Jimbo and I will see you in the next one. Next time.